When we got our Numar, it was really awesome. Today, we're gonna tell you the upgrades we made to our Numar to make it even more awesome. Hey guys, it's Izzy and MJ from Endless RV, and the channel that brings you the best in RV DIYs, product reviews, RV tours, and so much more. If you're new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe below. And if you're a subscriber, we welcome you back. So today we are out in Hershey, Pennsylvania. This is one of our first camping trips of the season. It's a beautiful day, a little chilly, but it's nice. So we're enjoying, as you can see, it's pretty abandoned here, which we actually kind of like. It's kind of very quiet. So today we're going to bring you six upgrades we did to our Numar that have shown to be extremely useful. So number one, if you look under our front tires, you are going to see uh, these square pads. These are actually called Haas pads. And what are Haas pads? In 2019 at the Hershey RV show, we came across these things. They are rubber pads. They're almost indestructible. They're made 100% in the United States and they're made of recycled tires. And what they do is they allow us to level off or pretty much get very close to leveling off this coach without having to use the jacks to raise it so much. So like we're off a little bit here. You can see I had put three on the uh, front driver's side. There's going to be one on the passenger side and that got us almost perfectly level. I finished it off with the jacks, but it was only a little bit. All right. So number one, Haas leveling pads. Okay. Well, we're on the subject of leveling. Number two are going to be our snap pads. Okay, now these are pretty well known in the Class A motorhome industry. These are again made in the United States, recycle rubber. They will snap on to the uh, landing gear, to the feet of your whatever leveling system you have. Very easy to install, probably about 10 minutes. But what it allows you to do, uh, number one, it gives you about two to three inches more of leveling. Also, it disperses the uh, weight a little further. So if you're in gravel, if you're in mud, it's less likely that the uh, pad that the uh, jack is going to drive into and start sinking. These really uh, have been really good. They go on there. Once they're on there, they're on there permanently. So number two will be snap pads. All right, we're going to be moving further back on the coach. So number three is going to be the Safety Plus steer and stabilizer now guys when we're at the tampa rv show this year we actually spoke with the reps from safety plus and we will reference that video and link it up above so what is the safety plus well it's a steering stabilizer and what is a steering stabilizer basically it keeps your wheel as straight as possible especially useful if you have a blowout so if you have a blowout whatever tire blows out your rig will tend to pull that way this will try to keep that as straight as possible and it just makes driving a lot easier so number three the safety plus number four guys still on the suspension kick we're going to be talking about the sumo springs right so we have front and rear sumo springs if anybody doesn't know what sumo springs are essentially they're polyurethane uh, springs they go between the uh, leaf springs on the f53 and to make a long story short, they greatly reduce the side-to-side -side swaying. If you have an F53 motorhome and you pull it off the lot, when the wind blows, you are going to feel this, okay? This upgrade 100% greatly reduces that. Uh, this was a DIY upgrade. Absolutely, if you're going to spend money on suspension, that should be your first upgrade, all right? So number four is going to be front and rear sumo springs. All right, number five, still on the suspension kick, okay? It's going to be the Super Steer rear track bar. What does this do? Basically, you have your frame of your motorhome, okay? Behind, on the back, especially from your rear wheel back is where you have your overhang you tend to get some uh, tail wag, right? So when a big truck, something passes you, the, the back there will, will kind of wag. What this super steer does, it actually is a bar that goes across and then there's two brackets that are bolted onto your frame. And what it does is that it tightens everything up. So it greatly almost nullifies that rear tail wag. So it's been a really nice upgrade for us. It's relatively easy to put in with some simple tools and we will link it down below. So number five will be your super steer rear track bar all right guys number six are going to be our vent covers and we'll show you exactly what we mean by that okay so we have fantastic fans we have one in the kitchen and then we have one in the bathroom and both guys are very very useful 
If that's an upgrade you can get on your motorhome or RV, I would certainly recommend either a Max Air Fan or a Fantastic Fan because it just pulls out uh, any kind of ventilation. It, it's really great. But what's awesome, when it starts raining, those fans will close. They have a sensor. So say it's raining out and we're cooking and we want to get some heat out. Well, we can't have those vents open. But if you put one of these covers on, and this is a cover specifically for the Fantastic Fan, what this does, it allows the vent to be open, but even if it's raining, it won't close, right? So you can have those fans running all the time. And this is a pretty easy upgrade to do. I did it myself. It takes you maybe an hour to get both of them done. Super worth it, guys. Number six, vent covers. So these are our top six Newmar upgrades, which for me, I know driving has made a world of difference. And now Izzy's the geeky tech one, so he's the one that explains it all. But I know for me, it's just made so much difference in the handling of the motorhome. Yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, guys, feel free to uh, share the video. Also, comment below on what some of your favorite RV upgrades are. And finally, to the left of us, we're going to be putting our RV DIYs as well as our RV Essential Upgrade playlist. So for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the road. Uh -huh.